Hi guys, this is Dr. Nicholas, the implant surgeon from Cerebrum Dental Spa and today I would like to discuss with you uh, the common mistakes that people do when they choose a dentist or a practice for their dental implants. So choosing the right dentist or dental practice for dental implants can be a critical decision that affects your oral health and your overall well-being. So here are seven mistakes that people often make when choosing a dentist uh, for their dental implants. One of the most common mistakes is not checking the dentist credentials, experience and qualifications. You should ensure that the dentist is properly trained and highly experienced to perform complex dental implant procedures. Mistake number two, not asking for referrals. Okay? Another mistake is not asking for referrals from friends, family or colleagues who have undergone dental implant procedures. Referrals can help you find a reputable dentist or a practice with a proven track of success. Mistake number three, choose a practice based on price alone. Choosing a dentist based on price only can be a mistake as the cheapest option may not always be the best quality. Look for a dental practice that offers a fair price and provides excellent service and quality dental work. Also, look at their guarantees on treatment and promises around clarity of their pricing once, once you have um, been fully assessed for treatment needs. Mistake number four, not researching the dental practice. Before choosing a practice, it is important to research the practice, to read the reviews and check the reputation in the community. This will help you avoid choosing a practice that does not meet your standards. Mistake number five, not asking questions. Another mistake is not asking enough questions before undergoing the dental implant procedure. You should ask about the procedure, the recovery process, and any potential risks or complications. Mistake number six, ignore the dentist's communication skills. It is crucial to choose a dentist who fits you, who communicates well with their patients and takes the time to explain procedures, answer questions, and address concerns. Also look to their support team, and if they have a care coordinator who often deals with the non-clinical details on the dentist's behalf. Mistake number seven. Finally, this is the last mistake. Many people overlook the overall patient experience when choosing a dentist or a practice for their implants. Factors as the office environment, the staff friendliness, and wait times can all affect your experience and all overall satisfaction with the practice.